First at five on your news leader, it is hot and only getting hotter. Health experts are warning this heat could be deadly. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. We're under a heat advisory right now, but even warmer weather is coming tomorrow. WRG Shea Simon begins our team three coverage live at Tumley Park tonight with ways to beat this heat. Shea? Yes, Stephanie, Greg, believe it or not, some people are out here braving the heat, but doctors tell me this is the time of year when they see more people rush to the ER for dehydration and heat exhaustion. It is hot. It's like living in somebody's armpit. I feel like it's 100 today. It doesn't take long to feel the heat and humidity across Memphis. One of the first things that you're going to be noticing is the heat and the humidity across the area. A trip to Tomley Park downtown quickly turning into a walk back to the car and the AC for Steve Keener and his daughter. That's why I cut it short. Those who stuck around leaning on food and water for fuel. I got Gatorades and Powerways in there too. So whoever would like and let, they bring their own water, though. And I'll be just saying, like, yeah, if you need me, I'm right here. But hydration is just one part of staying safe. A graph from the Shelby County Health Department shows that as temperatures rise, so do emergency room visits. June's heat wave sending ER visits skyrocketing, especially for children. You see their face are really red, their hearts beating. You really should bring them in and have them cool off and during these really extreme hot temperatures, have planned times where they have to come in and cool off. As a pediatric emergency physician with Labonna Children's Hospital, Rudy King recently shared with me how heat illness sends families to the ER. They just don't know how hot they're getting until they start feeling nauseous and vomiting or feeling really tired, and that's when they come in. As we brave the heat and near August, Keener leaves us with some good news. It's hot, but it'll be cool pretty soon. That is some good news indeed. Well, uh, doctors tell me that people who are out here, like at Tom Lee Park, exercising, if you're working, that is important to take plenty of breaks and also, of course, drink plenty of water. For your news leader in downtown Memphis, Shay Simon, WREG News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Shay.